I'm Sonnet with Sonnet's Garden Blooms. Welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be flipping a hutch. I found this hutch on Marketplace. It was $100. Um, it was green or like a greenish, yellowish color to it. I am going to be flipping it and using it for my new product line. So watch along as I do that. I am going to be using this new set of stamps called um, IOD Peony. It turned out awesome. Um, my husband actually thought I painted it myself. So you'll have to see how that goes. Um, also, as a thank you to everyone, I am going to be giving away my a barn quilt for um, hitting a thousand subscribers. So this is a 24 inch round barn quilt that I hand paint. I will be giving this baby away. So watch till the end for the details of how you can qualify to win the barn quilt. All right, thank you everyone. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and hit those notifications so that you can um, get the updates every Monday when I load my new videos. All right, thanks. So here is the hutch that I'm going to be refabbing. Um, we are going to paint it a white. Um, currently, I, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a greenish color. I, I don't really know. It's, um, it's somewhat faded in areas. So they had it at a cabin. Um, this couple, they purchased a cabin um, up in Mountain, Wisconsin. Um, and they, they left it there. It's very heavy. Uh, so it's very well built and whoever had it before did like a like this painting technique on it um, There's a few marks on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to initially sand it and then I'm going to do two coats of white paint to it We're going to shabby it and then I'm going to use a set called peony. It's an IOD stamp set It's very large uh, and I'm going to on the front on the bottom I will show how I do this. I am going to stamp the peony on and then I am going to paint it and then re-stamp. So uh, we're gonna see how that goes. <laughs> I haven't done this before. I saw one individual do it and I thought it'd be very cool at, because this is going to be um, my hutch that I'm gonna use um, to house my new line, um, my new line that I'm going to be offering. So I'm very excited about it. So let's go ahead, get started. I'm going to take all the hardware off the hutch, wipe it all down really good, and then we're going to go ahead and paint. I have the second coat on everything and now I'm gonna take you I'm gonna bring you in I am roasting uh, here in Wisconsin we have a major heat wave going on right now and um, I, I hope this dries well thank goodness I did the doors um, last week or before the weekend I should say so I'm gonna bring you inside I'm gonna show you now the painting technique where I'm gonna take the peony stamps we're going to stamp them on the door and then i'm going to try to paint them like look make it look like hand painted flowers so we'll see how that works <laughs> i've never done this before i'm a little nervous but we will see it is a learning experience and i guess if it doesn't turn out i can sand it and repaint it so all right i'm gonna bring you in all right so we're inside i am going to show you the peony stamp um, we're going to be using the IOD peony and with these stamps when you, you get them it, they come with like a plastic backing so um, what I'm going to show you all right 
you just take it and you peel the plastic backing off of it and then it allows the stamps. To prep the stamps, you do need to take a sanding block and then just sand lightly over the entire block or over the entire set of stamps to prep them for using. And then I am going to show you how, once we do that, how I'm going to use these on the doors. So I'm going to, we're gonna stamp a design on it, on each of the doors, and then I'm gonna show you how I'm going to make it appear that I actually hand painted these peonies on the actual door. So I've never done this before, so this is a, a new um, experience. I did see one video where they did do it on a cabinet, so I'm thinking, how hard could it be? <laughs> We'll see. All right, so then once you do that, it just like, it, this is just a sanding block I got at Walmart. And then the one thing too that I will let you know is normally you do peel off the stamp and then put them either on a block or on another, um, like kind of like this plastic to do the stamping. But because these are so big, I am going to just take a scissors and cut around them and cut them out. So that's what I'll do now. And then I'm gonna bring you um, along to see how I'm gonna stamp them. All right, and I did talk about how I wanted that new arm so you guys could see everything much better. I did buy it and here it is. So we have the arm. <laughs> so we're gonna play around with that today too. All right, I'll get everything prepped and then we'll, we'll show you how we're gonna stamp. All right, so I am going to first show you how I'm going to cut these out of the piece. Sort of. I'm just going to take and cut around. So then each of the individual pieces will be cut out. Let's go ahead and start. So this is the top and then this is the bottom. So I'm gonna go like this. Hopefully you guys can see it. Yeah, you can, okay. All right. So I think, all right. Where is the... I gotta look at this a little better. Kind of hard to tell. Okay. Here. So there's this. I think this leaf might be too big. So maybe. Oh, I kind of like that leaf too. Oh, I like the double leaves too. Oh gosh, no, I'm so undecided. So undecided. So maybe I just want to kind of lay it out to see. All right, so I'm trying to kind of want the peony right on in the corner is what I'm thinking. As close to the corner as I can get it. So I think that is gonna look the best, like that, is what I'm thinking. And then, somehow, have, okay, so there's these things, and I should tell you guys about them. They're called masks. So I'm gonna stamp initially this one first. And um, this door, 
yeah okay so this is the bottom this is the top because yeah so how this is gonna work um I kind of wanted to have the design just kind of be like in this corner and then kind of go up a little bit and then just over like a little bit here but kind of up and how the masks work are so once I stamp this and if I want to use this and let's say I want to make the leaf go like this but I don't want the rest of this. I put the, the actual mask, like a plastic piece, over this stamped piece already. And then when you stamp over, it won't stamp on uh, it. I'll show you guys, but it's pretty cool. It's kind of a cool idea. So, all right, so we're gonna do that there. And then I think I like, I think I'm gonna do maybe like this one possibly. Okay, that one is not going to work, but I think this one will. So I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do that there. I'm going to do this somehow here, like that, like that kind of design. That's how I like it. I think I'm going to do that. What do you think? I think that looks good. I like it. Okay, so now that we got that kind of situated, so this is going to be my outline. So we're going to take the stamp and we're using the IOD um, black is what we're going to use. We're going to get it the whole actual stamp we're gonna just and this is gonna be our outline and we're gonna follow this we're gonna paint in the lines or I hope we are right <laughs> all right so I gotta look at this picture again I'm getting confused I just want it right. I get a little nervous when I'm trying to, when it's gonna be permanent, you guys. Um, okay, I had it upside down. All right. So we're gonna set it down just like so. And we're gonna take our fingers and we're gonna rub it like this. Okay. Just like this. Now this ink, it's a permanent ink. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna stamp it like this and then there's my outline. And then we're gonna paint in between all the lines and then we're gonna take it and we're gonna re-stamp over it again to make it pop. So here are the masks. This is what I talked about before. that I need. That's the big one. And I think these are all the small ones. So, All right. So here's the one that we need to go over this. And this dries pretty quick too. So it's not like it's going to take a while to, to dry. So how it works. All right. It's kind of hard to see but we basically are gonna lay it right over the design. Like that. Okay, so it's directly over. That way when I stamp this and put it on here, this little bit won't have this on here and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, and when you store your stamp pads, you're gonna wanna store them 
like this so that all the ink is always to the top. All right, so. All right, so we're gonna just do the same thing. We're gonna press down on those. I'm gonna pull it up. So that is not perfect, but that's okay because this is our our first. We're gonna be painting, so it won't matter as much. But then you can see this stamped on here versus in the actual flower. So it kind of looks like it's tucked behind the actual, um, the, the peony. So we're gonna put that back down, just like that, because we're gonna stamp. I wanna do this as well. I wanna tuck that in just like that. And then we want to I'm gonna kind of tuck, I think, this like so. Maybe like that. I like this one better, maybe. All right, so we're gonna remember which stamps we use. So let's put away all the ones we did not use so that when I have to, I'm gonna re stamp the black on there that I know which ones. Okay. All right, so I like that. I gotta line this back up. Okay. Okay, so my mask is back on there like it was. And I think want it like that. Uh, I think it moved a hair. It did. That's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna just it's okay. It's okay. It'll be fine. I keep telling myself it'll be fine. All right, so now I want to get the mask for the leaf as well. And not that one. All right, so the mask for that one. So you can see how it fits perfectly on this one like that. All right, so you see that it fits over. So now, where did I put my other little? Okay, this is not the one. All right. And we're gonna have that like that. Maybe, maybe, where's my other? Maybe this will be too much. Yeah, that'll be too much. All right, so I'm gonna do it just like this. Then tuck it in. Kind of like that. All right, we're gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. All right, so the mask is over it. 
like so. And we're gonna set this down. Like right there. And then we're gonna just rub over it just like we did. pull it off and then we're gonna pull the mask off and then it should be and this is our pattern so now I am going to go and get the actual um, paints and I'm gonna show you which colors I'm gonna choose for that so here are the is the color palette that I chose I picked quite a few different pinks uh, all multiple shades. I want it to be able to blend. Uh, I also decided I was going to start with the peony first and then work my way over to the leaves. I initially um, thought maybe I'd use all these colors, uh, but then I decided based on an image that I had found when I was searching uh, peonies, then I was gonna just stick to two colors. So after going back, looking at that image again, I started with this pink and I started trying to stay within the lines, uh, which became very quickly, I discovered it was very hard or it was going to be very hard to just stay within the lines. And then I decided maybe blending would be better. So I stuck to two colors and I also used white. Um, I had white on there because I that helps blend um, the two pinks. So um, as you can see, I am going to continue to fill in initially. Um, and then on the future slides, I go ahead and I just start merging it all. So once I looked at the photo, I realized I was gonna use three colors. I was gonna use the fuchsia and then that lighter pink and then the white, and I was just gonna start mixing them um, and blending. I initially tried to stay within the lines and realized very quickly it was a very hard to stay within each of them. So I just started blending um, all the colors just um, erratically throughout the whole um, flower. I did lay the image of the flower over the top just to make sure if there was an area where I wanted to add a little bit more white, it would um, be there as well. I then went to the leaves and I started blending those the same way and I chose three colors for the leaves. So a real dark, um, a light light, and then just more of a greenish one. Now, uh, I want to apologize about my arm. It was the first time I've used it. So unfortunately, I am not used to it. And so some of the um, painting <laughs> was like outside of the viewing area. So I'm learning, but next time it'll be better. So here I took a blow dryer and I blow dried both of the doors. I wanted them to be completely dry before we did the next step. Now this next step um, is gonna be really easy. Basically, uh, we knew what stamps I used and we're just gonna ink the, we'll start with the large peony flower. We're gonna ink that up real nice and then apply it to that image. So it actually went really quick um, and it was real smooth uh, to do this. Uh, I at first was like, oh, am I gonna be able to line it up? But as you can see, I just flipped it over and um, made sure, oh, there, I wanted to make sure you guys were seeing it perfect. So I had to flip it again and yeah, we just set it down right over. Um, try to line it up as best as you can. And even if you do go outside of the actual lines, like in a, a few of them I did, it really didn't matter. It actually looked kind of cool. So um, just like I did when I put the initial stamp impression on, I just laid it down and I rubbed firmly over and I lifted it up and there it is. So I continue to do this um, with uh, both sides, uh, you know, with both doors. 
and I did it with the leaves as well. So this turned out, I think, pretty cool. I really do. I, I really like how it all turned out. enjoyed that video uh, I had so much fun um, learning how to use those IOD peony stamps it was it was scary at first I'll be I'll be honest it was <laughs> but it was a lot of fun I had a great time doing it learned a lot um, and it was super easy so I took probably a lot more time doing it than I needed so now the qualifiers to win the quilt. This is a 24 inch round pinwheel barn quilt. The pinwheel is the design. To qualify to win that, um, I'm gonna just ask that everyone that you subscribe to my channel, if you have not done that yet, to like this video, and three, share this video, and then four, make a comment on this video. All right, um, if you can do those things, anybody that um, does that and makes the comment will be put into a drawing. It is US residents only. Um, I realize that I have um, people all over watching the videos now. Unfortunately, I the cost probably to ship it all over is probably not something um, that would be feasible. So within the US you are the qualifiers. All right, well, I look forward to giving this away Next week up on my channel, you're gonna see um, a flip. Uh, I have a, a picture already. I'm gonna be flipping a dresser, a couple chairs, building a table possibly. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with everything uh, next week. So see you next Monday and thank you so much for watching. Bye.